We got Butcher Boy back! But guess what? They didn't ferminate him and he's getting hair everywhere. We got a ferminator that attaches the vacuum, but it only attaches to a Dyson. So we're gonna duct tape it to this big shot vac and get all this hair off of him. Right, Butcher? This couldn't work so well. Hey guys, day one back from uh, back from Matt and all there's houses and a little a little out of it right now. I hurt, but look, John got his, uh, his diploma for going to the sixth grade. That's cool. Kaylee ordered a karaoke machine for uh, next week when we're hanging out with the boys. Everyone in uh, Texas liked my pickles so much that everyone requested pickles. So I'm doing a giant batch of some of my my pickled sriracha cauliflower world famous dude i'm definitely creating a pickle company i'm gonna put that small pickle business out of business unfortunately there in uh in texas we got butcher back he's giant still hey big baby he's a big baby he's a big baby what would one of my vlogs be without petting animals jesus jelly like always jones is over here eating this cardboard box so not last night but the night before uh, i thought it'd be a good idea to drink and matt was drinking also at the time matt best and do uh do jujitsu and he choked me out so many times he burst some blood vessels in my eye i don't know if you can see it i don't know if it's focusing uh, but he completely destroyed me and I'm sore on every part of my body. I haven't done jujitsu in like six months. You know what though? I didn't even have to pay him to choke me. Mm -mm. Oh man. So it's kind of a kind of a hellacious mess when I do this. My kitchen just gets completely torn apart. My what? Yeah, right. Your house is dirty. Okay, we haven't recycled this week. We were in freaking Texas. We have a cat that eats freaking cardboard we got a dog that sheds like it's no one's business yeah and then we got you know cats that tear up some of the carpet this is a daily thing this isn't from like us not doing look, look at all that hair How did my sock get here? I, I don't know this is a daily dogs. thing we literally clean the hell out of this house every single day we have three cats two dogs a John, yeah, a John, and then we both, you know, we both work from home, so sometimes it just gets to looking like this every day, every day. I don't know why this looks so cool, but when you pour the mustard seeds in, they bounce around in every direction. That just looks kind of neat. Focus, focus, watch. That just looks really cool to me, I know I'm weird. Look at that, guys. I got me 12 jars of pickled sriracha cauliflower. And I'm gonna mass produce these and they're gonna be in every grocery store in the entire planet. <laughs> it sounded like a Rick and Morty ad, didn't it? <laughs> hey guys, look, this is the best part of making pickles. I asked John to come help me and then he came down, took a bag of trash outside and threw it away, which I'm thankful for, but then he went back up and like now he's... No yeah, he didn't replace the trash bag. bag. Now he's upstairs <laughs> just building Legos. That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. My little squirt got all messed up again because of something on him. But no, it turns out he just rolled around in a mud puddle. Cause, uh, yeah. That's yeah. that's how Squirt do. Hey, Squirt. You okay today, bud? When the mud dries a little bit and I don't get it all over myself. Is it? Oh, God. Please don't tell me you're wounded again. No, I don't see anything. You're just muddy. Why'd you roll around in a mud puddle? Squirt. Hi! Someone in the comments from the last vlog came up with a pretty good idea for a cooking stream. We should do the, uh, the chicken and waffles, except we're going to do the chicken breast. We're going to make it a, a maple and mustard glazed chicken breast, and then we're going to make waffles with bacon in them, and that's going to be the bread, just like it was from Hobo's and one of my other vlogs I did recently. Butcher died. Are you, is that pets? Is that pet? Yep, you're wanting pets. That's... Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, man. Hey, Dad. Yes, John. So I have a group. I'm going to jump on the cooking stream here in just a second, but I feel like a butthole because Jake, one of my managers, sent me this, these packages a long time ago, well, a couple weeks ago, and I still haven't opened them. I'm so sorry, Jake. I'm just now opening them. <laughs> Morty. That's a baseball bat. Ow, that feels like barbed wire. <laughs> did I get a Lucille, Jake? I did. And it's actually a real Lucille. That's not like plastic. That's that's barbed wire. And this is a real <laughs> this is a real Louisville slugger. 
I could totally kill someone with this. What do we have here? Ooh, Jake sent me a Leviathan hat. <laughs> a vintage FBI hat, one of the real ones. National, uh, FBI National Academy hat, what? Department of Justice hat? Oh my God, Jake. He sent me an empty box. There's probably something in that. Oh, there's something in that. It's a bag. Signed by Marva? I think that means Super Troopers 2 right there. I can put drugs in it. Oh, these are super cool. Leviathan's selling these right now. These, uh, these little Pokemon combat patches. Got, got some Mr. Wick there. Bunch of t-shirts. Damn, dude. Some EDC coffee. Thank you, sure. Some 5 Skate Shop coffee. Bunch of stickers, some patches, some shirts. <gasps> Kaylee, look what he sent us also. Ooh, some Super Troopers glasses. Signed by a Super Trooper. Look at that. I can't tell who's signature that is right off the bat. I think it might be Farva's. Sweet, what's this? Oh, no way. Super Troopers 2 signed by the cast. I didn't have a Ramathorn one. I think that was the only one I didn't have. But it's signed by Ramathorn. Yes! Jake, knocked it out of the park, brother. Thank you so much for everything. Jones is in heaven. Here you go, Jones. Yay! All the plastic you can eat. Yay! I guess if I'm gonna try to vlog every day, I actually need to try to vlog every day. Hey guys, look, I'm eating food. This is a sandwich. It's a non Jew Philly cheesesteak, and you put it in non Jew, and that's beer, and that's Kaylee. I'm <laughs> vlogging. Let me show you guys what Butcher just did. While laying down, not indicating that he had to pee, hasn't had an accident in forever. Peed right there while laying down. Didn't make any sense. I heard it before I saw it. And then he continued, you can't see it very well, to pee all the way to the door, out of my office. And then he knew we were mad at him. So he spun in circles <laughs> while peeing everywhere. You guys, you can kind of see it. See the little dots? See that, like right there? Yeah, it's everywhere. He spun in circles while peeing. And then he continued down the hall See it? See the little dots? And spun in circles some more while peeing. Yeah, yeah. And then he peed down the stairs. I just don't feel like walking down the stairs. And then he peed all the way to the door. And then he went outside and he peed more. I don't understand this dog. I love him, but Lord have mercy, sometimes he is a the biggest pain in the butt. John wanted ramen. I don't want him all, to eat all this sodium and all this other crap, so we're gonna actually make him ramen. Healthy ramen. Healthy ramen. Well, not healthy, but it's better than this crap. Noodles. We're using the noodles. The noodles are like, eh, Man. but we're just not using the four million grams of sodium in that. We're gonna make our own seasoning with some fish sauce, some hoisin, some garlic, some ginger, some better than bouillon, salt, pepper, some other stuff. John will put Slim Jims in his. <laughs> inside of his ramen, so I'm fine with that. Best way to cook a chicken, chicken, chook, chicken? A chicken breast evenly is to put it in a bag, put some oil in it so it doesn't stick to the bag and tear. Take a mallet or the bottom of a glass or a beer jar or a whiskey jar or whatever. Pound it out until the big side is just as thick as the little side. Whoa, we learned something today. So we're gonna go ahead and cook that up with some GSP. Cut it up and uh, start our ramen broth. You said we weren't gonna cut it up. I am by no means a ramen cooker man chef. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of wing this. How you feeling today, man? Good. You look like you're falling asleep. I, I'm asleep right now. Oh God, oh no. <laughs> That's good, bud. He's sleep cooking. Ah, uh, uh, um. where's the knife? Oh dude, let's pour that out and fill it up again. There's like hair, there's cat hair in that. Ew. Yeah, just pour it out and fill it up again. I mean, I'll eat cat hair, yeah. but I mean. You're not dumb, but don't say you want to get food poisoning. I am. Huh? I am. No. I am. I am what? Smart, intelligent, no. good looking, amazing? I am. Legend? No, I am. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. Ian? I'm? Are you saying I'm the dog <laughs> from Cowboy Bebop? No, I am. Uh huh. That's pretty good. Chicken right there. All right, press that down with that fork real quick. You pat, yeah, pat something? that seasoning on there. Bam, 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 bam. There we go. Bam, bam, yeah. Bam, 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 bam. All right, Ooh, we got a good base going. Look at that, man, some better than bouillon. A little bit of that goes a long way. A little bit of fish sauce. Fish sauce is disgusting. It's not disgusting, trust it's me. It's anchovy stuff. That's good, that's good. Throw some hoisin in there. A little bit more, a little bit more. There we go, that's good. Soy sauce, 
You gotta be careful with ginger, it's overpowering. It'll take over your entire your entire meal. Keep going, keep going, keep going. That's good. Some garlic paste in there. That's good, that's good, that's good. There we go, got some garlic, good garlicky flavor in there. And then we're gonna put a little bit of ginger. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Ginger Ew. Ginger is disgusting. Ginger is dis- what? Smell it. No, mix that up. So it is disgusting. No, it's not disgusting. I know what ginger smells like. Ew, you're, you're disgusting. Ginger's good. What are you talking about? You need to mix that up though. Mix it up, mix it up. Oh, look at that broth. Mix Taking on a brothy up. color. <laughs> Gotta get the chicken on. Bring it over, bring it over. What would you do if I dropped the chicken? I would wash it off and then make you eat it. For real? Yeah. They don't stab a non-stick pan with a metal item, okay? Okay. Metal <laughs> item, utensil, that's a word. Are you a cat? Oh no, you're Jones. Oh, okay. <laughs> now eat the box. <laughs> don't really do it, that's gross, his mouth has been on there. No tell him where his mouth has been. Probably on his little butt. We got that chicken going. We got the broth going. John said it needed a little bit of spice. We just tried it. He said it was delicious. So we're going to add a little spice to it. John said he wanted to pour the sriracha. There. That much? Yeah, and now right, I'm going to cool. spin up a little bit. Yeah, dude. Whisk it up, my guy. Get that whisk going fast, man. It's all in the wrist, not the arm. There we go. That's how we whisk. Like we're riding really fast and we're angry at someone. We're writing an angry letter to their manager because their name's Karen. Karen! <laughs> <laughs> pull that rack out. You can just grab the rack and pull it out. Yeah, grab that. Pull it out just a little bit. Stick it in the thickest part of the chicken about halfway through. We got 125 degrees. So we got to cook it for no, a little bit longer. No. All right, 132. All right, pull it out. Stick it back in. Because it's got to be 165 before we can eat that chicken. About 160. When it says 160 because it'll continue cooking, just pull it out. 157. No, when it's 160. Because it's you don't want to mess around with raw chicken. You can mess around with raw steak, but don't mess around with raw chicken. Chicken sushi will make you pee out of your booty. Like a chicken. Yeah, chickens do pee out of their booties. Damn, good connection, John. <laughs> <laughs> they also have eggs out of their booties, in case you guys didn't know that. We got our cooked chicken sitting right here. Came in at 165 degrees. What we're going to do is we're going to let it rest for a minute because the juices are... Mm, still just kind of resting and then we're gonna cut it into slices We're gonna put it in the broth and we're gonna drop the ramen in after that a little hole he made with The thermometer like right there are there. juices. Yeah, there's juices flowing out of it So it's definitely not overcooked at all. We're just gonna let it rest for a second John's been sitting over here getting spoonfuls of ramen and eating it trying not to burn his face off for the past couple minutes Because his broth he made is amazing and he was like gross ginger gross fish paste Well, that's John's piece now. I think you laugh at my cutting. I'm not laughing at your cutting. You need to hold the knife correctly though so you can control it. There you go. Look at that good chicken that John made. Look, see how juicy it is in the center? Mm -hmm. And then John cut my finger off. Dude, look at that juicy, delicious chicken that John made. I'm gonna eat some of that right now. Excuse me? Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Dang, John, that's some good chicken. You want to cut these into like smaller pieces or do you yeah. want to keep them strips like that? We got to get the chicken in the broth. You guys want to hear my big dumb that I did last night? You're supposed to put two to three cloves of crushed garlic in the in the, the ones that I make. At least that's my recipe. Guess what I forgot? Crushed garlic. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. They're still going to be delicious. Get that flavor mixed around. John's going to help me. There we go. Get a good shake in there, bro. Are you going to do it one at a time? Is that what you're doing right now, John? John. John. And you're getting boiling water <laughs> splashed everywhere. You better pick that thing up, put it in there, book. There we go. Ah. Dude, I'm teaching you how to make something. You can you, you can do so much in college and it's not expensive. Or when you're on your own, not expensive whatsoever. You use regular ramen things. Don't use the little ramen packets because there's so much sodium in them. Alright, let's put some Slim Jim in. Alright, John, let's put Slim Jim in. I'm sure you'll be doing that in college too. Perfect. Yeah, there chef. you go. Just get a crappy little knife. That's not a chef's blade whatsoever. That's a dull steak knife. These are chef's blades. Oh my god. That is super dull. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen Slim Jim in ramen. It tastes good. It'll soak, the flavor of the Slim Jim will soak inside of my meal. Okay, all right. All right. Are you excited about the ramen that you made? Yeah, with that, with that Slim Jim and Oh, meat. dude, yeah, yeah, Slim Jim and ramen. That's like, <laughs> you know, and it's an American you. staple. You guys want to see my chef's knife you collection that I have now? It. I'm going to tell you about my chef knives. I collect them now because I love cooking, and I have a cooking stream, and I'm writing a cookbook. I'm going to start off with this one. The first one that I received out of this entire thing. This is a Dow Strong. It was sent to me by a federal agent. 
and uh, his wife. They watch my channel. Thank you. This one was bought for me by Kaylee this previous Christmas. It is a Miyabi. It's super sharp, super awesome. Love it so much. The next one that I got is this half face blades knife right here. Looks like a Viking war weapon. It was made by uh, Andrew Arabito, who owns Half Face Blades. He's a former Navy SEAL. Really cool guy. I, I love all these equally, by the way. There's not one I like more than the other. T Gug got me this one. It's got donut operator engraved on it. This is also a super nice knife. It's handmade by Hayate Yoshihiro. Great knife. And then last but not least, let's not forget the knife that I received this weekend. My newest knife from Mr. Matt Best himself. This is a Kayoku uh, Daimyos. Ow, I touched the pan. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. Look at that, dude. Isn't that better than what was in the packet? I don't know. <laughs> I need to eat it all first. <laughs> what? Oh my god. I need Pull to eat it all first. Salt packet? I need to eat it all Dehydrated first. Dehydrated veggies. Dude, look at that ramen that John made. Oh, ballin'. Boom. Look at that John ramen right there. Oh my god. I'm definitely getting some broth though. What do you think? I'm a madman? Man, look at that ramen. Put some more in there. Uh, don't trip it on my thumb. That's enough. Bam! Oh my god. Look at that ramen that John cooked. That's amazing, John. You got a Slim Jim? Oh, oh dude, how's cool. the Slim Jim? I can't eat oh, it. Hold on. All right, we got the Slim Jim and the ramen. Oh. oh no. Oh no, it's a very elusive creature. How's the ramen Slim Jim? Tastes better than normal. I know, because it's an amazing broth. So, <laughs> would you say that right there that we made yes. together is better than these yeah, right yeah. here? Heck yeah, they are. There we go. Can you carry it? Can mm -hmm. you carry it all without dropping it up the stairs? Feel every service. Amazing ramen and broth and chicken. John made Slim this for Jim. you. Nice. Got some Slim Jim in it. It's amazing. John put a little bit of Slim Jim <laughs> in it, but it's just like one Slim Jim. But it's good. It's there amazing. Slim Jim in it. There is like it's a good. few little pieces. It's not like a bunch of Slim Jim. There's you're gonna find a piece or two of Slim Jim. It's amazing. Right. Try try the Slim Jim first. Okay. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try the Slim Jim. I did. I haven't tried it yet. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it just tastes like a Slim Jim. It tastes like a mushy Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but John did put together the broth. He even cooked the chicken in a pan. That's awesome. Like, everything was done by John. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. Nice.